welcome back to another lip balm review. This one is for the third and last one of the Baby Lips Sport Collection. This one is in number 20, uh, 20, sorry, I mixed it up. Let's try that again. Number 29, Poolside Pink. See, my brain works faster than my mouth does, unfortunately, so, um, but yeah, so obviously, as we can tell from the packaging, this is going to be a hot pink color, I surmise. At least I think so. I haven't watched anybody else's reviews. I don't even know if anybody else has reviewed this yet, so <sighs> let's get into it. So on the cover, we've got UVB Protection SPF 20. It's sweat resistant, claims eight or <laughs> again with the talking. Eight hour moisture, although I call BS, doesn't last eight hours. But yeah, so um Made in Germany, or no, <laughs> made in France. Wow, I can read, guys. I, <laughs> wow. I'm very tempted to just start this video over, but I feel like you guys will at least get a laugh out of how many times I'm flubbing this up. Yeah, 24 months after opening is how long it stays good, and yeah, so. All right, let's pop it open. This one is another one of the European exclusives. Thank God for my friend Elle who was able to get it for me. So yeah, here we go. It is a tube format one. Well, stick format. It's in a tube. And it's got the same orange background as the other two, except that this one's hot pink. It's similar to the shade red that's on um, the Ready for Sun one, but side by side. You can see there is a difference in color there. So um, I just happen to still have that one out on the table here. But yeah, so the stick itself. Oh, that's pretty. That actually reminds me a lot of, um, was it Hot Hibiscus from the, uh, the Petal collection? Or was it Petals? Baby Lips Petal? Something like that. It was the one with all the floral ones that came out a couple springs ago. There was one that was like this shade, and I think it was the Hot Hibiscus one. Okay, so... First off, I think this one smells different than the other two, but it could be my imagination. We'll revisit that thought in a second after I go through my usual points. But um, these are not natural or organic. They're synthetic. They're baby lips. What do you expect? They're always synthetic. Um, I don't know that these are limited edition. If they are, feel free to co uh, correct me. But I think these are permanent collection, even though they are European only. I really wish they'd make stuff like this worldwide instead of only releasing certain baby lips to certain countries. I just find that really dumb, but Maybelline continues to do it, so whatever. But um, yeah, price point wise, uh, they're pretty much the same thing as they are over here for a baby lips, just a British equivalent in the price. I obviously had to pay more because I had to have it imported, but yeah, that, um, but I think this was, oh, do I remember from the website? I want to say it was something like three pounds or something. I don't know. But, uh, anyways, um, sturdiness wise, the cap stays on amazingly well on me, so no complaints there. Not a wiggly turn wheel, really. I mean, it does a little, but it's got the little safety bubble in there to where it won't just, like, go all the way up just on its own in your pocket. I mean, I suppose it could be overridden easily enough, but it's not as easy as if it were just a free spiraling one. So there is that as a safety precaution. So, um, only special features of just the SPF in it, which does it list the active ingredients. No, it does not. It's not like American lip balms where they uh where they list active ingredients and then the inactive ingredients separate. So anyway, um let's go back to revisiting the scent on this. What does that smell like? There's no way this smells identical to this. Yeah, no, this one was cherry. Uh, Seize the Blue smelled like Fruity Pebbles. This one... It's a really familiar scent. Hold on. I'm trying to place what it is. It's a light scent. It's almost like a peach iced tea, like Lipton peach iced tea. 
I'm not sure that that's correct. But the more I smell it, the more that my brain is telling me that that's what it smells like. So, I'm not 100% positive. Don't hold me to that in case you have this and say it smells like something else. This is just my opinion of what I think it smells like. It's definitely like an iced tea scent for sure, but I feel like it's specifically peach iced tea. But again, that's that's my opinion. But anyway, let's do a quick swatchy swatchy and then we'll put it on. I am going to roll my sleeve up. Hell, I'll roll up both. Why not? Um, and we'll get into the L's. Okay, so it's not quite as pigmented as... Um, say, the Revlon Kiss Bomb the other night, but it's still got a good degree of color to it, and it is a very pretty color. So I'm going to try it on properly now. Okay, now that I swatch it, I'm like positive, positive. That is peach iced tea. I'm actually really surprised that this would have that scent, but I'm really happy with it because, you know, I love peach anything, so. Okay. Ooh. Actually, I'm going to turn on my lamp real quick so you can see like more accurately the color. Okay. All right. And now let me show you that swatch. Okay. Ooh, and you totally smell it when it's on your lips too. I like that. Pinks them right up, it does. It is very much buildable color, which is why I kept going over and over to build it up as opaquely as I could to get a nice, vibrant, rich pink color. I really like that. That's really nice. This may be one of my favorite baby lips colors yet, honestly. The fact that it smells like peach iced tea just adds to that. That's really nice. I'm very surprised. I mean, it doesn't really go with this shirt, but, you know, it's still really pretty. Let's see, is there a flavor? I feel like there actually is a tiny, tiny bit of flavor, and it definitely is peach. Okay, so if I had any doubt in my mind before, that just clinched it. Well, yay! Um, the actual consistency and thickness, it's a... Thin thickness. Um, it's very greasy and slippery. Not at all sticky, not even a little. Um, but yeah, it's just very slick. Very, very smooth. Feels like it'll do a decent job moisturizing, so no complaints there. I am so pleasantly surprised with this, guys. Um, usually with pink baby lips, you never know if it's going to be one that's actually going to show up or if it's going to be like a little pastel pink one that you may as well wear clear because it's not going to show. So I'm really surprised that this shows up so well and that it's so pretty and it smells like peach. What more could you want, you know? So um, last thing I'm going to do is check the drink test. This is probably where we're going to lose a point. This is always where it loses a point with baby lips, but we got to do it for the sake of being fair. Oh, a ton just came off on my straw. Yeah. Yeah, you see exactly where it's missing. Okay, so it did fail on that. I think that's the only thing it failed on. So I can't really hold it against the product that it's only available overseas, so I'm not going to strike it a point for that. But, um... Is there anything else I've left? I don't think so. Yeah, so I think I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. I really, really like this one. It may be my favorite out of this collection, actually, which is surprising, because I thought for sure the red one was going to be the favorite. And color-wise, yes. But everything else, I like better on this one. So, um, yeah. So that is about all I have to say for this one. Uh, I would say if you can get your hands on it, definitely grab it because it is worth it. 
so that is all I have to say for this. So as usual, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is in the description. So anyway guys, till tomorrow.